God is a good God. Let us bow our head in a word of prayer. Turn to Father God in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for all things. And Lord, as we come before your people, Lord, we ask you, Lord, our mouth. We can do nothing without you, so we humbly ask that you give us what to say and how to say it. Of ourselves, we can do nothing, Lord. But we look to thee, who is the author of the of our faith. Help us right now, Lord. Bless as we go forth, that we may preach your word, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank and praise God, saints. Thank God for all things. Amen. Amen. Uh, saying this morning in the Sunday school lesson, how, you know, if people weren't searching for Jesus, amen, there wouldn't be so many people strung out on drugs and strung out on alcohol. Amen. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing, amen, how, amen, so many people are caught up in that today. We live in a world of pressure, and we live in a world that's fallen, and people need to cope. Amen. Amen. You know, one thing I find out, when we're saints of God, we're living in the same world as, amen, the sinners. Amen. Amen. Our job can be closed down just like the sinners. Amen. 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 We can get sick at just like That's right. the sinners. Amen. 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 Our children can fall prey to the enemy just like the sinners. Amen. 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 But I found out, amen, that when we hearken unto God, yes. there is a thing called divine protection. Amen. It comes with a cost. Amen. God that we serve is a God of a covenant. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. And today if I had a thought, it would be thou shall serve no other God. Amen. 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 Thou shall serve no other God. Uh -huh. When we look back throughout the pages of Scripture, you see that man continually reject the living God. Amen. There's consequences for consequences for the rejection of God. Amen. When you see the things happening in the world today, it is a direct result yeah. of the rejection of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 It is a direct result of the rejection of God. I tell people when you reject God. You are open and susceptible to whatever the devil has for you. Amen. It was that way from the beginning. Amen. And it's the same way today. Amen. When you see so many people dying, amen, out there in the world today, you know that the Lord is soon to come. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it also makes you, it should make you appreciate yes. the Lord Hallelujah. even more. Amen. Yeah. You know, you have to pray for people because the world works against itself. How do you mean? The very thing they should assemble themselves <laughs> to be <laughs> to be doing, they don't do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They assemble themselves to do the things of the world. Amen. And the very thing they need to assemble themselves for, they don't do. Amen. 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 Find out when you see the tra tragedies that just happened and Amen, you see things like Katrina and you see things like I want you to understand something. We are living in the last evil days. Amen. Amen. Because there's great catastrophes that are happening to people, not just over in the world, but right here in the United States. Amen. Amen. God is a divine protector. But I want you to understand, folks are going through. Mm -hmm. Amen. And one of the biggest reasons why they're going through, I know it may not be popular to say this, but we want to talk about the people that died 
And it's a sad thing. Yes, amen. My heart today goes out to those that have lost a loved one. Because no matter what circumstances, it hurts. Amen. That person is gone. Some people lost their sisters, their brothers, their mothers, uh -huh. even children. Amen. That's true. Amen. 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 That's a hurtful thing. Yes. That is a hurtful thing. Amen. But what I'm trying to say is, we have to get back to God. Amen. Amen. And God proclaimed in his word, thou shalt have no other God. Amen. 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 Now find out, amen, when God has set things up for us, for our benefits, that's when we reject him the most. Amen. 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 When God established our coming, and our going, yes. that's when we want to seem to reject him the most. Amen. 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 I told you before, amen is like I was saying. The more, even in the natural, the more you do for people, the more they resent you for it. Mm -hmm. And it's the truth. When you, the more you do for people, the more they build up a resentment towards you. Amen. And so it is with the Lord. The more he does for you and I, the more we build up a rejection of God. It started, as I said before, in the beginning. Amen. Amen. And if we go look in the book of Genesis, amen, it didn't start in the first chapter or the second chapter. Those were devoted for the creation of the world and the creation of Adam and Eve. Amen. So after God had established everything and given man everything and given him a relationship with God, show you how grateful we are, here comes the rejection of the Lord. Well, Amen? Amen. 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 When you don't do anything for people, a lot of times they don't have no reason to resent you. That's true. That sounds strange, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's human nature. Amen. The more God does, he is the one that is yet rejected the most. Amen. In the society. Amen. Amen. We want to bring in all the other false gods in the under the cloud of inclusion. Well, political correctness. Amen. We don't want anybody to feel left out. But the God, the living God, Amen. who gives us life, health, and strength, yeah. who's the one that delivers us time and time again, well, yeah. who is a healer and a deliverer. I don't know about those other gods. Yeah. There's no record of them doing anything for anybody. Yeah. But I know about Jesus, yeah. and his record is yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the record of Jesus yeah. is true. Yeah. Hey, and yet still, he is the one that was rejected. I want you to realize the same people who he healed their daughters, who he raised them from the dead, those same folks are the same ones that saw the miracles, and yet at the end, they rejected him, and they pleaded, amen, they hated him, the Bible said, without a cause. I want you to realize he was rejected up until the time that he chapter Genesis talking about the fall of man yes. here's what he said now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field yes. which the Lord had made see God made him Amen. he didn't create himself God has all power Amen. and all authority saints see when you really understand and believe that yes. you'll stop worshiping other gods Amen. Amen. and he said unto the Lord God and he said unto the woman yea had God said, "Ye shall not eat of every tree," it had God said, "Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden," and the woman said unto the serpent, "We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, "Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it." lest he die. Now she said, God had said. But we 
continue to reject his way. God has said marriage is between a man and a woman. But we reject the ways of God and we prefer his word. And I want you to understand when we prefer the word of God, there is a consequence for that. It doesn't mean that God not gonna, is going to stop you from perverting his word. But I want you to understand when you do that, there's going to be a price to pay. You're not going to get away. You may get by today, but I'm here to tell you, you're not going to get away. I don't care who you are. Amen. And the servant said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. And God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant in the eyes, and a tree, and men desired to make one wise, she took up the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband.
there is more evidence, go to the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel. <laughs> Amen. Seventh chapter, beginning at the third verse. This is just like us, so don't wag your finger at nobody. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Asherah from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only. He will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistine. Then the children of Israel did put away Baal and Asherah, and served the Lord only. And Samuel shall gather all Israel to men to misfits and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together the misfits and drew water and poured it out before the Lord and fasted on that day and said there, we have sinned against God. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Methbath. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together in Methbath, the Lord of the Philistines went up against Israel and the children of Israel feared heard it and they were afraid of the Philistines and the children of Israel said unto Samuel cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines folks are ungrateful Amen. because when you're in trouble you're going to turn to God I find out everybody wants you to pray for them when they're down and out when they're in death, when death brings his ugly head, but when things are going fine, when they've been established, when their bonds are full, they got no time for the living God. And what do they do? They serve other God. They serve the God of money. They serve the God of prosperity. They serve every type of God. They serve the God of lust. They serve the God of covenant rather than serving the living God. Even today, Jesus has been rejected by and serve gods. It's not right. Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel. And the Lord heard him. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. 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 And so Samuel was offering up the burnt offering and the Philistines did hear battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomforted them, and they were smitten before Israel. Yes, and the men of Israel went out unto Miss Pet and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came under Bethcar. Then Samuel took a stone and set it before Miss Pet and Shem and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel, and the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel, and the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel from Ekron even unto Gath, and the coast thereof did Israel deliver out of the hand of the Philistines. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. Again, what has happened? Mm -hmm. Notice the pattern. Amen. They cried out to God. It's just like in the beginning. God saw that it was bad for Adam to be alone. Mm -hmm. What did God do? God made him a helpmate. Yes. Right. And gave him dominion over the animal. So God again, God established from the beginning what man needed. The children of Israel were in trouble. They cried out to God. And it's after they started serving other gods. God heard their cry. And God delivered them. Amen. And set them up. And established them. Amen. 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 So here's God thinking, oh well, they're going to... They're going to love me because I, as, they, as they can see, as I've demonstrated, when they need me, I will not only hear their cry, but I'll deliver them. So they should realize yes. that I'm a faithful God. Amen. They should realize, amen, that I'm a good God. Amen. 
But I find out that folks are not like that. I found out that, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. I found out that people like to be under, there's a certain, on a certain level, people like to be under a certain degree of oppression. They really do. The minute they got out there in the wilderness, they thought about Egypt. They were under oppression. There's some people that were slaves once in this country. But when they had to go out on their own, they said, well, maybe it was better for us to be back in Master's house. That's how some of them thought, believe it or not. There's some of you that look back. God deliver you out of Sodom and Gomorrah. You look back. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. You're looking back constantly. Amen. You don't look forward to where God has you want you to go, but you're constantly looking back. See, I want you to understand something. Even in the wilderness, God allowed them to build that statue. Yes. Yes, he did. But when it comes time for the judgment of God, some of you don't listen. He came, and he came with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. But God said, vengeance is mine. Amen. 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 See, even here, God established it. God had, God established so much, they had peace mm -hmm. with their neighbors. I delivered you out of the hands of the uh, Philistines. I defeated them. They ran the other way. And now the other people, I, I give you peace with them. What more can God do? But again, if we read in the 8th chapter of 1 Samuel, here we go again. And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abraham. And they were judges at Bathsheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, that's money, took bribes, and perverted their They were greedy. Amen? Amen? Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah. And said unto him, Behold, thou art old. Thy sons walk not in thy ways. Thou make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Now here it is. And don't tell me we're not like that because yes we are. Amen. God has commanded us in the New Testament now. It says come ye out from among mm -hmm. Be separate. Amen. Amen. God has set us apart spiritually from the world. Amen. We are different because in our beings is the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Spirit of truth. So we're already spiritually set apart. Amen. Man. So why would we want to be like other nations? Amen. 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 If, if you're being blessed and that person is living in poverty and in sorrow and they reject God, why would you want to be like them? Amen. Why would you want to be like them? Amen. And the Lord said unto Samuel, he said, But the thing that pleased Samuel, the sixth verse things, when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For well, they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. They had it. Amen. They had it. You know what people want? People aren't looking for a benevolent leader. They are looking for a thug. That's what they enjoy. I'm telling you right now, people enjoy being under a thug. They want somebody to rule over them and lord over them. That they will accept. Uh, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But right here, and I'll tell you why it's true. It's not true because I said it. Here's what the Lord said. Amen? Amen. And the works which I have done since the day that I brought them out of Egypt, even unto this day, where they have forsaken me and served unto God, so they also do unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, how be yet protest solemnly unto them, and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told the word of the Lord unto the people that asked him, asked 
of him a king. And he said, this will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He's going to be a thug. Mm -hmm. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, to be his horsemen, and some shall run before their cha his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousands, and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war, and instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, and to be cooks, and to be bakers. And he will take your fields, and your vineyards, and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tent. This is no amen, Assyrian king. This is no ungodly king. This is no Babylonian king. This is the king requested by the people of Israel. People love to be under a thug. They don't want benevolence. They don't want the Lord. Let me tell you something. When people, you cannot oppress a people for a long period of time unless there's a degree of complicity. Amen. Amen. That's true. History has proven that out. 